Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. We've got another Gilmore Girls video today and these are my favourite to create, honestly. I look forward to getting to do particularly Gilmore Girls builds in The Sims. Last week we did a Kaz video of me creating Kirk and Taylor. Um, in The Sims so I thought it'd be good to make Taylor's soda shop to give him a place to hang out so as we loaded in I'd already created Luke's diner and the soda shop is next to Luke so we're just adding it to the side of that and then as well we've got the Stars Hollow library next to the soda shop so I was looking at reference pictures and I noticed that there was a library next to Taylor's shop so I just thought it would be rather fitting to include it in a Gilmore Girls save file so I decided to add it in and as well it just adds like a nice extra bit of aesthetic to the town makes it look more full and it gives you your sim somewhere else to go as well and can we just take a moment to say how annoying it is that the sims decided to add that little section of grass in between the pavement and the lot so that if i have like paved tile it's got grass in between it like how annoying is that I, that infuriated me so much when i was building this so i hope that you have now noticed that too and it's angering you just as much as it was me <laughs> the the roof on this build was also really difficult as well I had to cut out a load of me just faffing around with it I can't remember if I delete that half wall on top of the library or not I can't remember if it stays but that kind of looked a bit weird I think basically in the real life build that half wall is at that level but it's sort of flat on top I don't know I can't remember what it's like but also like the half wall around Luke's was clipping with the roof and it just looked so weird so let's just pretend it doesn't exist let's not look up there let's just play at our sims level and it'll all be fine but I think the exterior turned out quite nice like from the street view and I should mention as well that in this video I also furnish um, Luke's apartment so so because in the show he buys the building that Taylor's soda shop is in and he lives upstairs in the diner and then he knocks through so that his apartment is the first floor above his diner and the soda shop as well so creating this meant that we could then furnish his apartment properly although I'm not sure how well I did on that because I think like he goes through several different floor plans throughout the show so so I couldn't decide which one was right and which one to go with at certain points in time so I don't know if there are any discrepancies there but let me know what you think down in the comments and you'll notice here that there's a window through to um, Luke's diner that is actually part of the show <laughs> Taylor and Luke whose shops these are they have a little bit of tension their relationship is is not the best they tend to sort of wind each other up get each other annoyed and they're always doing something that doesn't suit the other person's agenda so I can't remember why he does it I think it's just probably to annoy Luke but Taylor decides to add a window so that he can view Luke within his soda shop it's just Gilmore Girls logic if you're a fan of the show you'll understand because it's just weird humor but we love it um so now I'm furnishing Luke's apartment and like I said this was quite hard to do because I was looking at several different re reference pictures but I don't think any of them were from the same period of time because Luke's apartment changes over time um obviously because it starts smaller and then he expands on top of Taylor's shop so let me know what you think I did wrong <laughs> and if I made any massive mistakes I'll probably go back and edit it in time for the release so that you guys get the best version of it but I was basically doing it from memory I thought I knew the show really well I was like oh yeah Luke's apartment I know it so well his his bed's there his kitchen is there and then I was like oh no I remember seeing Lorelai walking in on Jess and Rory on this sofa and it's facing the door but where is that in relation to the kitchen so I got a bit stuck and I just added like a random sofa next to the kitchen so I don't know if that's right I actually haven't watched the show in a while so I probably should have gone back and just checked the show but I was, I was like oh that'll take absolutely ages and I'll just correct it when I do re-watch the show and um, because that'll no doubt be very very soon I'm currently working my way through Heartland and then I'm pretty sure as soon as I'm finished watching that I will just 
start the cycle of Gilmore Girls again because I know I'll go back to it I always do (laughs) I just find it so helpful as like a stress relief at the end of a day I just need like an episode of something totally chill just to calm me down and Gilmore Girls and Heartland are definitely providing that for me at the minute The more I'm getting into this save file as well, the more I'm realising that there are absolutely loads of characters in Gilmore Girls. And it's a bit daunting because so many of them are awesome characters and I really want to include them. Off the top of my head, I'm thinking like Paris, Michelle, Suki, Jackson, Gypsy, all of like the town members. There's just so many of them. Babette. There's absolutely loads and I'm actually going to have to somehow find a house to put them in as well as all of the sort of town buildings that are important as well. And because of the Sims and it's stupid, you can't just have a Sim live in a house and it function as a cafe. So I couldn't make Luke live in this building. He would have to like live in another building. So I was thinking about making the, I can't remember what it's called. I, I forgot last time and I've forgotten again, but it's the the house that they turn into a museum that he ends up buying and that he fights Kirk over and I might make him or Kirk move into there you know because they have at least at one stage bought that house or I could move him in with Lorelai I guess but I feel like in terms of the characters I know that I created um, Luke's apartment when it was already extended but in terms of the characters I want them to be at the start of the show in terms of gameplay but I don't know, we'll, we'll work it out somehow. I might have to add people as townies or something like that. But for the next video, I'm thinking about maybe making Mrs. Kim and Lane. I'm not sure where their house will go, but we'll work it out. But I'm really excited about them. But anyway, we're coming up to the end of the video now. So I'm going to head off. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you're a fan of Gilmore Girls in the comments. And let me know if I did anything wrong or if I did justice to Luke's apartment and Taylor's soda shop and any of the characters as well. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. So bye guys. Mm -hmm.